Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, here the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 66 of Less Platinum Neo. Alright, here we go. We're gonna start with Kuroda's Determination. A crimson sky of doom hangs over Sekigahara, and a yokai infestation appears to have begun there. There is no time for fighting our fellow man. Lord Nagamasa is also reportedly doing his best to stop both sides of the battle, but Lord Nagamasa does not have the strength to stand against the yokai, and I fear for his safety. Will you go and see if he is alright? Let me just check something. Okay, cool. Yep. Alright. Is this the same excerpt? No. The hour of demons has descended upon Sekigahara. With the yokai realm and earthly realms intertwined, yokai have been given free reign to run wild. <laughs> Alright, so this mission is pretty tough, and as much as I want the, uh, the proficiency points for, you know, the, um, the Odachi or even the spear, I will probably have to be using the regular sword. So Nagamasa is the guy that we saved earlier in the game. I thought I would meet with Master Shima, but it seems you beat me to it. <laughs> Hang on, does he say more stuff? No, he ran back over there. Okay, fantastic. Anyway, do I have a shrine in this? Alright, there's like a little... there's a dude here, but... For whatever reason, he's invincible. It's actually quite quite a short mission. It only... It's only one small area that takes place, but... Ah, Iboshi Kabuto. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I was like, I don't remember getting that. And that drop also seems to contain a noble dung, dung ball every time as well. Which is good if you haven't done the other the other stage, the Defiled Castle. Okay, so here we go. So basically, the entire... Hmm... You know what, I'll give it one try with, with the Odachi and the spear. I'm going to start with the spear though. The entire thing takes place in this one area. Um, actually, you know what? Let me try this. That's not what I wanted to try. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, good. Good start. Um, it's weird, I didn't realize both of those enemies. Okay, and I might die. Fuck. So, this is actually not. Uh, how can I put it? It doesn't just happen... Especially this one here, so it's gonna summon this. And... If you can kill him quick enough... It'll give you some time to recover. Because the next one that spawns is on a... Sort of a timer, I guess you could say. Nice, that was really good. So what you do is you get ready with this. And you light it just as he spawns, and hopefully... Ah, okay, it was a bit too late. I should have uh, tried to light it immediately. So the Raven Tengus are actually the... the toughest part of this, I feel like. If you're using the Tombow Kiri, make sure you buff it with... Oh, this is bad. Okay. Buff it with water, because uh, wind will do very little to this guy. I want my health to heal up. Okay, good. And now for the final battle with yet another on Ryoki. Good. Avoid that. Hey, I wanted to hit him in the head. <laughs> How about that? Why is that not working? Really plain? This whole time you haven't... Oh god. Okay, let's heal. It's going well. Damn it, I thought I was on high stance. There we go. Huh, that's it. Just one time. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <sighs> I am not kidding when I say that I literally would have completed the mission if I hit him one more time. 
Beating that on Ryoki is the final thing that you have to do. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna start with the Odachi here, just as a quick test. I don't remember having to fight. I thought it was two of these guys and none of the skeleton warriors, but apparently. I want to try doing damage like that and see if it made a difference with this attack. Seems like it. It's pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was fantastic. <laughs> Now we get this guy, the, the, uh, the cannon seems to be missing. I'm really annoyed that that did not... ...water. What is going on with the control sometimes, honestly? Uh, did the other one spawn? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was so fast. <laughs> This is not good. Um, I can slow one of them down. Let's slow you down. And then we'll go for you. Ow. Uh, this is bad. Yep. Ah, uh, see, I knew if I hadn't... Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed. What? <laughs> I wasn't even really looking at the screen and then I looked. Um, alright. Let's try with the Tombow Kiri again. Yeah, alright, let's try that. No, target him, game. Jeez, man. Please kill him, please kill him, please kill him, thank you. Give me this. Can't believe... I, like, timed out on that other thing. God, that does a lot of damage. Okay, good. Uh, water. I'll try weakness instead of sloth. Sloth is good, but weakness for him might be a bit better. Risky, yeah. Poke, poke. Heal. Yep, do it. Dodge. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, done. Cannon is still there. Light the cannon. <laughs> Hooray. Almost on fire. If you get him right where he spawns... Um, it uh, does a lot more damage and I think it actually burns him. Careful. Okay, here we go. Last one. Let's see if I can get this. Sloth. Weakness. May as well carnage. Oh, not like that though. Uh, one, two, three, four. Spin. There we go, that's what I wanted. So be careful on the knockback, that's not what I wanted. Sloth. Oh, run. One, two, it's over. Thank god, alright, good. That could have lasted a long time. Alright, what did I get? Nagoro Rifle, lots of Demon's Horns, Kaido Armor, Red Demon Armor. Not too bad. Hey, it's Kuroda, what's he doing here? Thank you. That's the second time you've saved me. Ugh, if I never see the inside of another, another demon's belly again, it will be too soon. <laughs> it almost suggests that that's the second time it's happened. Alright, good, we did it. We succeeded. Hooray. <laughs> oh man. That was, uh... That was annoying. I really wish I hadn't died that first time. Seriously, one hit off. God. Alright, anyway. Let's get to it. Now we're gonna start Source of Evil and should be able to finish it next episode. Sir Anjin, I am, as always, in your debt. If you had not been there, the demons would be feasting on me already. To die in such a way before the glorious final battle for all under heaven would have been like smearing mud on my father's face. <laughs> now, I will not forget what you have done for me as long as I live, so please, I beg you to keep it to yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, uh, we finally get the Yokoku Nagayoshi Spear, which is the one that has earth on it. Really good, really, really good. 
Alright, I am actually going to try something here, and I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to pray that it does. In fact, I'm almost I'm certain that it's not going to work, but let me just, uh, I'm going to use the blacksmith, but I want to check something first. Did I get anything? Those are the new things, right? Newest? Yeah, damn. Okay, I guess I'll quickly spend just a little bit of money in the blacksmith, hoping to get a, um... What do I want? So, lightning is good. This will probably do, but I really want the one that's better. Oh, I have this one. Okay. Skill key damage. What if I was to temper this? No. Change to attack spirit A minus. God damn. Guard key reduction. Killing street. Let me have a look at it real quick. Okay, we need we need something, so maybe we'll try with this one since it's quite high. Alright, let's get rid of this, this, get rid of that, get rid of all that. Strong attack key reduction, high attack damage, skill break. Wait, let me test that now. Okay. Regular break, agility damage bonus. No. Ah. Mm. Maybe? No. No. I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> Definitely not. Nope. Nope. Seriously? Yes, that'll do. Perfect. Lightning will do. <laughs> Surprisingly, lightning will do. Even though that is a uh, earth weapon. Alright, let's get that mark up. We're almost there. Uh, should we bother handing this stuff in? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, Kaga switches Magatama. Definitely hand that in. Get the Sohaya Surugi. Um, Ikoku has earth, which is nice. And Jackie... Jakiri Maru, which has poison on it for some reason. Uh, greater good is actually not too bad. It gives you key, unlimited elixir. Um, close combat damage. It's not actually the worst set. It's um, it's Yasu set, so it's pretty good. Um, and then I think there's other stuff. Did I go through everything? I think I did. Yeah, it's just a greater good. That's all right. Cool. So let's get out of here, um, level up, yeah, okay, let's, uh, you know what, let's ready the jutsu, oh yeah, and I gotta do that too, alright, get rid of these two, put talisman lightning on, put guardian spirit on, cover it over that, uh, we don't really need it, but it's there if you want it, and I think we're good, um, alright, let's try. Except we're going to change our Guardian Spirit to Karajishi. Now let's have a look at Karajishi. He's got Spirit Protection 20%, all the spirits have that. Um, then he's got Increased Attack Skill. Now this is a really interesting ability. It says, temporarily increases attack when you cause damage with a skill. Now, I don't know if that's infinitely or if it's just like the first time, but that is actually really good. Um, you've got Guard Key Reduction, eh, great. Lightning damage increases another 12% on lightning damage of lightning based attacks, so really good. And then your key, plus 20. So that's really good. And it's really, really good for this mission in particular, especially with the dual swords. So I will attempt to do this. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're well, pretty good. I don't like using the dual swords for this mission, like to actually complete it, but for the boss, it's mandatory. Alright, here we go. I don't know what the, happened to the music, but anyway, it should come back in a bit. The Gasha Dokuru is a yokai born from the bitter grudges of countless fallen soldiers. Left unchecked, it is only a matter of time until it consumes the entire world. Sir Anjin, you must defeat it before all of humanity is wiped out. I and Master Hanzo will assist you as best we can. Alright, and we head on to the source of evil. This mission can be quite difficult. Um, I know when I played it for the first time, I really struggled. 
Um, but uh, surprisingly, if you can get through the the actual mission itself, the boss is fairly simple to um, defeat if you've got the right strategy. So I borrow this one from a speedrunner. I can't remember his name. He's first place right now on the PS4 current patch world record. Um, I saw him do it and I pretty much did the same thing, but um, yeah, it's very useful, shall we say. Alright, September 1600, Sekigahara, Mino province. Alright, let's get this started. So, first we want to have uh, the weapon that I changed up a bit. Now I can't find it. Uh, it was this one here. Yep, so we want to have that equipped. Um, you basically just want stuff that does a lot of damage. Uh, if you get can get skill key reduction, that's a pretty good one. Uh, hold on to that, because we're going to use that for a bit. Um, alright, and then I actually want to learn some skills, because using the dual swords without these abilities here, God of Wind, God of Wind 2, God of Wind 3, and you can learn Moonshadow if you want, I'm not particularly, like I don't love that ability, but it's good, it, it's okay I guess. Uh, I'd like to have this as well, but it's very slow, which is kind of annoying, um, but God of Wind, the way it works is you press triangle at the end of a mid or low stance combo to follow up with a kick, that does a good key damage. Um, if you follow up with another X press after that, you do another attack, and then if you follow up with an additional one, you do another attack. So I'll try and show you, so uh, two, three, I think that's it, right? Let me do that again, so kick, slice, sorry, kick, slice, and then when he flashes, or sort of just before he flashes, Bit tricky to get the timing right. There we go. You actually can't see the flash, you have to wait until it occurs. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. So I have earth damage at the moment, but that's fine. There you go. Nice, good damage. So again, this giant skeletons, kick them. Avoid their attack, kick them. Destroy them with a nice grapple, or killing strike, I should say. So we'll start off slow here and we'll progressively get harder. Okay, good start, good start. Alright, let's talk to Master Tenkai. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Sir Anjin, I'm relieved to see you unharmed. The power of that giant cadaver and those spikes has attracted many Aratama. Here, take this with you. He gives us the Soul Soothing Comb. That is a secret Onmyo crystal which can pacify Aratama and restore them to Nigitama. Uh, Sir Anjin, I think you may be capable of turning those spikes to aid the Nigitama. Hey, cool, the scabbards for my jewel swords are like made out of tiger skin or something. <laughs> tiger fur. Um, Sir Anjin, it is truly the hour of demons. Be careful out there. Okay, that's it. Alright, now the hard part. So. Let's start going through it. I'm going to have a quick look around. Nothing to go through here. Alright, we have our first revenant. Now, there is no actual... Let me just get rid of this guy. There's no uh, Biwa Boku Boku. Um, it is simply because the Gasha Dokuro is existing that it will automatically summon itself when you get close. Fighting it is um, like fairly tricky because... Like, just using the dual swords to fight regularly can be tough, so, you know, practice makes perfect. Use, um, sign of the cross if you want. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. He doesn't always block. Juzumaro Sunetsugu, I've never seen that one before, I don't think. Earth damage, cool. 
Roger, the Evil Crusher. All right, this is just a shortcut. Oh. That leads back to the beginning. Hmm, is that doing more key damage because I have Earth equipped to me? Interesting. Kaido armor. Uh, oh crap. Okay, that's fine. Standing in the red stuff doesn't actually do, like, have any negative effects, which is nice. Oh, is he not summoned? That's actually really lucky. Beautiful. Stab him. Now he's summoned. Now be careful with this guy. Nice. Okay. Decent, decent job. So standing in this doesn't actually affect you in any way. However, um, there will be a point where we can actually dispel those with uh, using the soul soothing comb that we got from Master Tenkai and uh, that will make life a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier, but it'll help out. Beautiful. Oh, Master Swordsman's armor. That is really good actually. So, boost, I'm rid of Gorge, I don't mind that, but its abilities are good. So it provides skill key reduction, more damage to the sign of the cross, more dual swords, and key recovery by key pulse by 30%. So increases the amount of key recovered in a key pulse. So it's really good for a dual swords build. Um, I'm actually very lucky to have got that. So because uh, I was thinking about using that set later. What happened? I can't move, and there's something crawling inside me. You. All right, let's get this guy. Kick his face. Eh, looks like it did the slightest bit more damage, but probably not. Good. Get rid of him. Nice proficiency points. What am I up to for that, anyway? 150. Oh, okay, so I was still quite a way. Quite a ways away. Still got a ways to go. Alright. Um, now the hard part. Let's quickly go this way. I think there's something here, but I can't remember. Yeah, it's just a drop. Or Kanehira and Yugusumaru. Let's get rid of that guy. Let's have a look at that actually real quick. Um, oh good, it's a lightning one. <laughs> That's You could use that too, but I, I like the one I created. I ho hopefully it'll do... I wanted to create one that would do a good amount of damage. Oh yeah, another thing to note. Do not try and fire an arrow or do anything to attract the attention of the Gasha Dokuru. You will die. Uh, where did it come from? Something. Alright, now this is quite annoying. I am going to heal to full health and I'm honestly going to use a Sloth and Weakness Talisman on him. Because, yeah, that's... I think that's a really good reason as to why I did that. If you have a look at how much health he took off me. Oh, I'm on high stance. Uh, that's bad. Heal. Should be at full health. Alright, that actually worked out fairly well. Hey, Earthmaster. More, I need more heads. And then, and then. And then what? And then what? Alright, so he was the only one that I need to kill there. Now we can drop down here. There is a yokai right over there who's fairly well hidden, actually. Yeah, do your thing. Now I'll do my thing. Do I still have that no guard break? I wonder if that works. It does work for that. Holy crap. That's really cool. You cannot just rush in and hope to escape notice. You must find an opportunity. Yes, that is a good idea. Alright, so when you see these big crystals, drive the spike into them. And that'll turn odds in our favour a little bit. Now we can use these to get a little bit of a boost. Um, the middle one provide... Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, he notices you. I forgot about that. No. I may die here. Heal, heal. Just gotta be careful. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try and get away from these guys real quick. Completely forgot about that, and then I was thrown off by the the yokai. All right, so let's kick him in the face. That looked like I did a lot more. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure of what all the buffs do. Unfortunately, that's kind of what like one of the downsides of this game. They do a very poor job at explaining a lot of games tend to do this actually a very poor job at explaining exactly what everything does they they do a good job explaining most of it but there are like little questions here i like i mean i don't know about you but i like to be explained i like everything to be explained to me 
Um, I don't mind figuring stuff out for myself, but not stuff that's tedious. It's yeah, really frustrating. Um, anyway, the ability that you get from being in the these now other circles of different color that we have is one of them is key recovery speed up, which was actually something that I didn't know in a previous episode in the Defiled Castle, uh, but I didn't work it out when I was editing it, so I just left it. It's the middle one. The the one on the right, I'm not quite sure. And honestly, the one on the left has something to do with Amrita, but I'm not sure either. Oh, this actually, this guy wasn't too bad. Beautiful. Holy crap. That was, yeah. The the dual swords can be really punishing if you know how to use them. Uh, well, I guess I use the sloth and all that. Alright, let's try. Okay, so that was the... That was the one that was dealing, that was so hard before. Nice, there you go. That was amazing. That was actually really good. <laughs> Seems easy enough to do it, but then when you try it consistently, it can throw you off. Alright, you know what? Uh, oh, good. I am so glad that I didn't miss that because I forgot that he was there. I must have got really lucky to find him. Wow, these swords look amazing. I, I've never... Did I never fight with these swords before? i got to end the episode, but... Let me see if I can do something here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die! <laughs> okay, that was fun. Oh god, that wasn't fun. Okay, we're good. Where's the, um... Is there a shrine nearby? I don't think there is. Oh, well... Let me give a quick look. There's no one here, is there? No? There's a secret item here. Semi-secret item. Himurugi branch. Uh, I think it's it's like over there somewhere, but hmm. All right, I'm just gonna stop here. So we've cleared out this whole left side. We should be able to clear out the rest of the mission and then fight the boss next time. All right, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 66 of Let's Platinum Neo. My name's Ultima 456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>